who recently spoke to that. And Rick, we just recently spoke to that attorney's team specifically getting not only confirmation, but brand new details from attorney Tyrone Blackburn, the man who represents multiple accusers against the hip hop couple. I can tell you that he says six more potential victims have come forward. This after Blackburn went public and asked authorities in two states to start a criminal investigation into the couple. And here's what we just learned about those individuals. Blackburn's team tells me that out of the six, five are women, and there's one man, and they all were in states, um, either Georgia, California, or Washington State, happening between dates in 2008 to 2015. So far, though, Blackburn's team says that he has taken on one woman as a new client because he says he was able to collaborate, collaborate her story, bringing the attorney's client total now to nine women who allege that they were either assaulted by um, rapper T.I., his wife, Tiny, or a member of their inner circle. All right, y'all. So before I get into it, I just wanted to say something. Before I get into this video, one thing I want everybody to understand is I am a content creator and I talk about trending topics. And a lot of times people in the comment section may take things personally, whether I talk about a man or a woman anything that's trending out here that a lot of people are talking about this is not a personal attack against a man or a woman if you go down my list you will see that i talk about many different people whether it be a man or a woman whatever is trending out here i i create these reaction videos for my channel and so i can state my you know reaction on these videos that's going on i don't know these people personally i don't know nothing about them so I just think that when we're watching videos on YouTube, we have to take our emotions and um, we, we have to take our emotions out of it. And we have to not personally think about it as a attack on women or attack on men. Um, I have done reaction videos about T.I., Tiny, Shakana, Samantha Gibson, Nick Cannon, Cardi B., Gorilla Glue Girl, Gorilla Glue Man, the men will come in my comment section and say, I am trying to pin the black man down when clearly in my old videos, I talk about, you know, uplifting black men. And the black women will say that I'm trying to bash other black women when clearly in videos, I talked about respecting black women. So that is unfair to come at me and say that I am attacking black and black women and black men when I create one video and you haven't watched any of my other videos that is unfair to pin me as that type of person because I am clearly just creating content so I just want to let you all know before you watch the video that this is not what it is and I'm slowly realizing that this is the problem between us black men and black women we tend to just think emotionally without understanding what's going on or understanding what a person is trying to do and we kind of reflect things that other people do back to ourselves and that's why we don't know how to communicate with each other because we always feel personally attacked by something that is not directed personally to you so before i get into this video i'm just letting you know this is not a video to pin the black man down and this is not a video to pin the black women down that is involved either. This is a, not a video to pin anybody down. This is a trending topic that I am reacting to. Now let's get into it. T.I. Azela Banks is alleging that T.I. and Tiny forced Iggy Azalea into a drugged threesome. T.I. and Tiny have been highly scrutinized in the public eye over the last several weeks due to sex abuse allegations. Well, things seem to continue to get worse for the couple because now Azalea has made explosive claims that T.I. and Tiny not only drugged, but also sexually assaulted rapper Iggy Azalea. <sighs> So 
What I found out over the past few days is they got some more members of the team. And one of them is Nelly. Now, when he made that song, it's getting hot in her, so take off all your clothes. That's what he was talking about. Because right here it says, Nelly speaks out about false allegations made in new sexual assault lawsuit filed against him. Let me share my screen. So we got some new members of the team right here. And Nelly is next. Now I told y'all they got some more uh, players in the game and they coming out real slow. See, when things start, it start off allegedly. We don't know. But now once they start investigating, all the players start coming out. Nelly speaks out about false allegations made in new sexual assault lawsuit filed against him. I do not plan on walking away quietly, the rapper tells people in a statement after being accused of sexually assaulting a woman after a UK show. Dang, so they assaulting people all the way in the UK. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see. Rapper Nelly is speaking out after a woman filed a new lawsuit against him on Thursday claiming that he sexually assaulted her after one of his concerts in England last year. Mm, they coming from England. The woman who filed as Jane Doe, she ain't want her name to be known, says that the rapper masturbated in front of her multiple times, not one, not two, multiple times. I don't know if y'all see this. After his show in Essex in December 2017, how did, okay, so how, if he if he uh, masturbated the first time, how was he able to do it multiple times? You didn't leave after the first time? Okay, according to TMZ, Nelly, real name Cornell Haynes Jr., has been under criminal investigation by Essex police since February after the woman first came forward with the claims. I've been quiet for some time, Nelly44 tells people in a statement, but these baseless allegations hurt more than just me. The truth will come out and I will be vindicted. These type of false allegations undermine real claims of sexual abuse, harassment, and real victims, he continues. So he basically saying that, you know, this undermines stuff that's really going on out there and they making these false claims. Now, of course, everybody, anybody like me or anybody else gonna look at Nelly and be like, okay, you ain't got no problem pulling women. Women basically throwing themselves at you so you can masturbate on anybody. So why would you just choose a random person from England and just masturbate on them? Like you just some perv out here in the streets just can, that can't control yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of does seem kind of irrational like to just be like, okay, I'm going to um, put claims on this man for doing this. But like I said, we don't know what's going on. All this stuff is just out in the public. Ooh, okay, this was three years ago. Nelly alleged rape case evidence released. Uh, you know that uh, prosecutors... Oh, it is a case, isn't it? It is. Well, it is a case because she is still suing him. So it's a rape... It's not an alleged rape case. It's a rape case. It's a, it's you don't a rape need the word alleged for that part. Just make it a point. Go on. Anything else you want to pick apart? Okay. Well, well wow. Charles, it's a correct point. Wow. I mean, so honestly, okay, okay. all right, let's start right. picking it apart. Here's the thing. Uh, anyway, prosecutors dropped the case last month, uh, mainly because the accuser uh, said she was not going to testify against Nelly. So they felt they didn't have enough of a case. They dropped it. Now police are releasing uh, all the evidence that they gathered, photos, videos, uh, and, and, and more details about the accusations. Uh, they released these photos. Uh, this is Nelly in handcuffs outside his tour bus. Uh, they also released surveillance video. Remember, the tour bus was parked in the parking lot of a uh, Walmart, I right, think it was. Right, right. Uh, and they have surveillance video from the Walmart. Now, this is surveillance video outside the club in Seattle where they met. So that's, that's Nelly Nelly leaving with Monique Green, the accuser. And now this is the surveillance video. The uh, SUVs pull up. She gets on the bus. This is it. You can see 2.30 in the morning. Uh, and that's when the alleged rape happened. Um, so at some point, as, as Nelly and Monique both agree, 
Uh, she left the bus. She says that she was thrown off. They threw some money at her. So uh, and that they threw money. Now, uh, Nelly says that she left because she was upset, thinking that he was hooking up with someone else on the bus. Uh, and he says he handed her $100 so that she could pay for her Uber ride. Uh, this is the Uber pulling up to pick her up. She actually get, gets in the car, but she didn't leave. She got in the car and from the car called police who then showed up and ended up arresting Nelly. So. Yeah, yeah, but Charles, she tells a very different story in these documents than he tells. She says that uh, they went to the back room, she was pushed onto a bed, he forcibly removed her clothes and started having sex with her. Um, she believed that he ejaculated inside of her, and uh, there was his a lot of different... Of it, his side is very different. Yeah, he says that uh, she was there completely consensually, uh, that they had sex. Well, I don't think there's... I don't think either of them disputes that she showed up on the bus... Now, the crazy thing about this one claim is after that, it was another claim. So when another claim comes out, it just don't look too good. Now, they can all be teaming up. You never know. Look at Bill Cosby and everybody else. But another one came out. So listen to this. Are saying about Nelly. Okay, fast forward to now. There are two women who come forward and now they're claiming that there was a sexual misconduct situation with the rapper. So his girl, Miss Jackson, decided to come to social media and, you know, defend her man. This is what she had to say. Look, I know he fucked up and we're dealing with that in our relationship to rebuild it and find trust. Having to go through all of this publicly is the worst feeling ever, but this should not open the door for false claims. Those dates these Jane Doe's are claiming, I was at those venues in the dressing rooms and on that tour bus. There are women dealing with real issues of sexual assault and for the first time, people are listening and there's a chance for real change. But all of this work is discredited and makes things harder for the survivors when people lie. So now, let me stop right there before I go on. Now, what kind of confuses me is in the beginning, she said, I know he effed up. But then she started talking about lies and allegations and things like that. But if he didn't F up, why did you say you know he effed up? That That's the confusing part. Like, what are you not telling us? But let me keep going. Let me keep going. But sometimes you got to look at the keywords. Oh, she's like, look, chicks, you guys are lying. I was there. It didn't happen. And I can say that it didn't happen. But if I'm not mistaken, I definitely remember the day that all of this rape stuff came out. She had been posting videos the night before, which appeared that she was at the concert. I assume she was at the concert because the videos from her Instagram story were recent as if she was there on stage with him at the time. So if he's having consensual sex with this other woman and you were there, then how can you, you know what? I'm not even gonna go there. Anyways, I know you guys are probably wondering like, okay, who are these two women? Who are these new accusers? Well, you know, I got you. Let me go to the page six to give you the article where it details a little bit of information about the women. So on page six.com, it says, Two more women have accused Nelly of sexual assault. One of the new accusers alleges that Nelly, whose real name is Cornell Haynes Jr., stuck his hand up her dress at a concert after party in June 2016. According to an amended complaint initially filed by accuser Monique Green, the second new accuser claims the rapper 43 masturbated in front of her in a dressing room after a concert in December 2017. She also claims Nelly grabbed her head in the attempt to demand oral sex. Jane Doe One, a happily married mom who is stationed in the UK with the military, bought VIP tickets to Nelly's show where she and a friend could take a photo with him backstage. So then there's quotes, and I'm assuming this is directly from her. She says, then because... Okay, that's enough. That's enough. So what I can see is, I don't know if the one girl heard the other story from the other girl, but this man like to masturbate on folks. Now, this ain't coming from me. I'm just going off what I'm reading in the headlines. He liked to masturbate. And so it, it's, it's, a, it's a trickle effect is a trickle effect and you know he 
you need to stop watching all this England porn because you like to get them from the UK. You want to masturbate on all of them. You, you, you got the same pattern going on. You got the same pattern. You got to change it up. You know, I don't know what these women like or if you just like the same thing happening, but you need to change it up because these stories are sounding the same. Now, if it's consensual, it's consensual, but you can't, you can't always believe that everything is consensual. With all this stuff going on out here, it starts off that way, but they got another plan. They got another plan, but let's go ahead and get to these Nelly and T.I. allegations and connect the dots. Let's go ahead and connect these dots here happened to send letters to federal and state prosecutors to say that eerily similar experiences have been going off in over a decade and it includes kidnapping terroristic threats and false imprisonment so now y'all are looking at this and wondering why is nelly's face in this slideshow well uh guess what they have now managed to incorporate him in these allegations as well According to a video that was posted online, it states that in 2014, that a victim was forced to have intercourse with Rapinelli against her will at the request of T.I. and Tiny. So what does this mean? Well, I don't know, but y'all, there's a video that was posted on Instagram from a page called Not Your Model Victim. It's a reenactment video of all the accusations that have been said thus far. So let's watch it and you guys let me know in the comments how you feel about this but this is definitely getting crazy let me know y'all i want to be clear about one thing so i don't know if it, I, so i don't know if y'all noticing that little passage that she showed that little quick one that said eight ecstasy pills don't you think if you would have took eight ecstasy pills you would have been dead i don't know i'm gonna look this up on google but eight ecstasy pills just thought that was a little bit of a stretch. Eight ex he forced me to take eight ecstasy pills. I thought two can kill you. One will probably have you out your mind, but eight of them? I don't know. I just had to go on Google. I just had to go on Google. Ask Google if that is possible. What you need to know, can you overdose? Let's see, how much would it? Mm -hmm. Anything higher than considered? Okay, okay. But how many we talking? Okay, let's see. For facts into overdose risk, a typical dose of ecstasy per pill is between 10 to 150 milligrams. Whether or not a certain amount of ecstasy will result in overdose depends on the number in, of different factors. Okay, so it depends on a lot of different factors. So I'm going to, what's what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask Google something else. Can eight uh, ecstasy pills? That's what I'm going to say. Pills kill you. Uh. Hmm. Okay, Google, you ain't helping me right now. Can I take eight ecstasy pills? God dang. Oh, shut the wrong hole. Okay. Overdose. You know what? Google, you getting lazier by the year because you used to know everything. Let's let's just go back to the video. So now let's connect the nut. Let's connect the dots. So right here, you got Tiny speaks on Nelly rape allegations. What happens to the chicks for telling lies? So the thing is, like, okay, out of all people, Ti go all the way. He didn't came from Atlanta all the way to Texas to speak on Nelly rape allegations. So, but why? What's the purpose? I mean, I know Ti speak on a lot of stuff. You know, he do speak on a lot of stuff. He has something to say about um Busta Rhymes uh, uh, coming out with new music. But, I mean, he's trying to, he trying to protect his boy. You know, they got to keep this thing going. So he got he to gotta speak up for his boy. So let's see what he had to say about Nelly, about his partner in crime.
They say so, right? I'm just sitting here thinking. After Mike Tyson, after motherfucking Tupac, after all the other motherfuckers who done been with girls and the girls got mad for whatever reason and left off and said that they raped them or whatnot. What the fuck ever happened when a motherfucker find out that the bitch was lying, my nigga? What consequences is there for this young lady? Could we we take out, you know what I mean? If more if, if more than 12 find her guilty, we got this, we got the answer to that. But if it found out that that wasn't true, what the fuck happened to her? Hmm? Sick of this shit. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. We ain't no motherfucking targets. Get your shit together. Hmm. So, T.I., what does happen if they lie? Do they get taken to the dungeon? In this, Nelly is now dragged into the T.I. So it's getting hot in her and her. It's getting hot in here. Nell, it's getting hot in here. Nelly is now dragged into the TI allegations. But listen up and see what you think. Okay, here we have TI right here looking like he confused right now. Like, dang, how I get caught up in this. But this TI situation is going to be manifested. It is going to manifest itself in many ways. First of all, let's talk about Ant-Man 3. Hmm, let's talk about it. Disney just announced that the rapper will not appear in Ant-Man 3. So he was supposed to be in this movie, y'all. The highly toted sequel is freaking... Hold on. Sequel to freaking Ant-Man 2. Tip was a prominent feature in the movie for us hip hop heads. We definitely liked seeing him because he was representation of us at that time. So you guys, due to these allegations, he won't be an ant. He will not be an ant, y'all. Um, They won't admit it, but it seems like the recent grave allegations against him, however true or false, have impacted his acting career. They say that he was never slated to return to the series, but I simply do not believe that. I think that they have passed judgment already and have decided that they no longer want someone who could be potentially a liability to the brand and be a Disney movie and be in a Disney movie. Am I right? Well, I mean, you're right, because I mean, it's a lot of youngins in Disney and we don't need allegations such as you know sexual allegations coming along to um you know uh disney world and things of that nature disney disney world and disneyland and things you know we we can't have that i don't know but seems quite odd in timing that they would they always say it's odd in timing when they trying to come up you know when they on part three of a sequel then they trying to they trying to mess up their reputation because they don't want them to get more money. But see, we ain't talking about Ant Man right now. We need to get to these Nelly allegations. Oh, I almost forgot about Nelly. In the mini documentary, they mentioned Nelly. Documentary. I can't even speak it out loud, but they allege that Ti and Tiny forced a woman to have sex with Nelly. Well, God dang, how do you force a woman? To have sex with another man. First of all, were they tied up? See, they like this bondage stuff because they give them control. I've been trying to look up why people, especially all these celebrities, is kidnapping and raping and on all this bondage stuff going on. So they got people that 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 are willing to give it to them. These women out here, there's a lot of groupies out here. They willing to get pregnant by you. They willing to have sex with you. They'll do it all for the money. It ain't hard to get. So I'm trying to figure out why y'all got to tie these folks up to get it. 
but I realized that it's actually a thing like this type of bondage type sex like they give you some type of mind control and and all this control that they get from it and it's it's just some weird stuff it ain't for me but they people actually doing it out here like they got horns about this stuff so it's actually a thing but the thing is it shouldn't just be forced on nobody like drug nobody shouldn't be getting drugged up and things like people gotta consensually want to do these things but still to me i feel like with with even that if they consensually do it they could still turn around and say it was it was not consensual so i just don't think it need to be something done anyway if you just want to experiment some extra sexual activities that go beyond the norm do it with your husband and your wife it'll be more safer that way you ain't gonna it ain't gonna be nothing alleged long as you ain't being abusive there ain't gonna be no alleged stuff going on so as y'all could probably guess uh or imagine it's been extremely difficult for me to remain quiet uh in 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 light of all the things that have transpired and all of the the egregious allegations that's been tossed around about me and my wife um, but it's a reason for that. And I don't mind sharing it. You see, if a person does not have any right to to criminally or civilly have you in court, they have no right. The best thing they could do it gets you for a defamation, a defamation suit, drag you in court, make you pay their late legal bills, but get you in court. Now, I mean, at this point. Man, it's at, the, it's at the point where that don't even matter to me no more, okay? But that's the motive. That's the strategy. That's the intention. Say a whole bunch of false stuff about you um, that get people to believe and make them come out and say, they're a liar, they're a liar, they're a liar. And then they can say, see, they call me a liar. That's defamation. And they drag, drag you in court, get you under oath and all that. Because unfortunately right now, it doesn't matter as much what they can prove you did. It matters what you can prove you did. You know what I mean? And that's just an unfortunate place that our society had made it to. But I want to be clear about one thing. Women who have been victimized deserve to be heard. Women, black women in particular, should be supported, protected, defended, uh, and uplifted. However, evil has no gender. People with evil intentions have no gender. A threat comes in all shapes and sizes. I would never, I mean, I would never treat a woman the same way I would treat a threat. All right? So I think that that has to be distinguished. First and foremost, I want to say my wife, my wife is a beautiful person with an amazing spirit and a kind heart. She's a devoted mother and she has a humble soul. She don't deserve it. She don't deserve it. Uh All right, y'all heard it. Y'all heard what T.I. had to say about that. And all I got to say is like, you know, after this, hopefully, you know, none of this stuff really happened. And when they get back to their lives, they can just live privately, you know, do their thing, get out of all this stuff, because money is the root of all evil. First Timothy 610, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covet after, they have erred from the faith and perceived themselves through many sorrows. Go read that in the Bible. It talks about this stuff. And people will endure many sorrows and bad consequences for having it all, but then losing your soul in the process. You just got to be careful with the things that you do and the people that you're around. Now you got T.K. Kirkland reacting to T.I. and Tiny Abuse allegations. Let's see what he's had to say about it. As the extreme summer heat arrives, your home's critical systems are more important. Okay, so here we have, uh, it says, T. 
T.I. victims. One of T.I. and Tiny victims go live claiming she was drugged and taken advantage of. So let's see what she has to say about this. Because I didn't even know the victims were talking. You know, I thought that, you know, the lady that read about those 11 victims, you know, it was all written down in statements. But I didn't know these victims were on here actually talking. And this victim was talking about a month ago. So actually, they've been talking. One of T.I. and Tiny's victims. Go live. I think that's what it said. There you go. One of T.I. and Tiny's victims go live claiming she was drugged and taken advantage of. Let's see what she got to say about this. I don't know why they're up here neither. Stop talking about how pretty you think you were and just tell it, making it seem like you enjoying being attached to this. Some of you motherfuckers are fucking common as hell. You hitting the shade wrong with this one. I want multiple times for money, not for drugs. I have no idea where their kids be. Okay. I woke up alone. What was I supposed to do? What did she mean? When I woke up alone, I was fucking startled. I was naked. My phone was dead. And I was in the bed. I don't know what the fuck happened before that. I agreed to have sex for money. I did not agree to be drugged. They can sue you, baby girl, log off. I'll sue them first. I think I should be paid. Agglers. She should have kept you anonymous like you asked. Yeah, these motherfuckers are crazy. People has been victims of this shit. That shit is not cool. That shit is not cool. And then it's underage girls. Seriously, I wasn't even 21. I just turned 22. You know? And when you're fucking being manipulated and bribed with money and, you know, and then talk shit to like a dog after you want to agree to do something, that shit is serious. Then these are rich, famous people. You guys are asking me, why the fuck did you do that? Because. So do you want help or money? I'm confused. I don't want help. I don't need help. And I don't want money neither. I just want to tell my story. I want to tell my story. And I want people to know that. What the fuck? You can have fun. It's all right to have fun. But it's not all right for people to take advantage of you. It's not at all. I'm poor as hell. I'm from Norfolk. Of course I was ready to take that six bands. Who the fuck gonna turn down six bands? Okay, I'm done watching this. I'm done watching this. Okay. There's a lot of things wrong with this. Even though it's not good to take advantage of nobody, but you're kind of letting yourself be taken advantage of and you're admitting that you had sex for money and you're doing it because it was a lot of money. So, I mean, that's not really being taken advantage of if you're saying that you wanted to do it. 
and you was grown is you're not a teenager at the time you're doing it or you're not young and being manipulated you say that you want to do this so i don't know it's kind of weird to me that you're admitting this stuff and then you're kind of deflecting and saying, oh, I agree to this, but not that. But the thing that a lot of people don't realize is when you agree to do something that is not right from the beginning, because the way that you're doing this is nothing right about it. There's consequences to doing it, whether you did it that way or whether you do it another way. Even a prostitute on the street that agrees to have sex for money is going to face some type of consequences whether it be some stds whether it be robbed killed anything you're putting yourself in danger you're putting yourself in danger when you're agreeing to do this stuff just because it's a lot of money that's not cool but this is one of the let's see what they're saying in the comments stop coming to social media and go to the authorities exactly why do people go to social media it's just like the gorilla glue girl the gorilla glue girl i understand unfortunately stuff happens mistakes happens or whatever but why is the first place always social media that's to get attention what is social media going to do for you how are they going to help you they are not all they're going to do is comment give you likes views and subscribes and that's it they're going to make you relevant but they're not going to help you This is like the best comment I've seen. Chocolate Queen, shout out to you, whoever you are. Stop coming to social media and go to the authorities if this really happened. How she say she not a prostitute, but just said she agreed to have sex for money. Shaking my head lies. Any girls watch this, please, please, all money ain't good money. I, I, I strongly agree with this and I strongly repeat this. Just because it's a lot of money, that doesn't mean you do anything for it. It's not always good money. I have a new baby and stuff. I'm like, okay, well, uh, can I get back to you on this offer? So he's like, sure, you can get back to me, whatever, whatever. So now, of course, I speak to my fiance I'm like hey what do you think I should do should I you know meet up with these people I I see what they have to offer whatever whatever and he's like you know if you do go I'm sure they're probably gonna have to sign something whatever you know and it's crazy because like as I'm seeing these stories I'm seeing that this is exactly what they have these people do like sign that you cannot speak about what's going on so um like I said I considered it because of who who they are and then I like thought back on it like because I myself am a a rape victim from 2014 um I had just questions of like okay so why do you want to fly me out like why do you want to meet with me like he's like oh we have a venture for you um we can speak more in person about it whatever whatever but it just didn't it didn't sit well with me until why these people want it like I have 2,000 followers at that time probably less than that so I'm like what about me like where did you you know what I mean like I had so many questions in my mind about what did they really want and then you know I I brought this to my family's attention I went to my mom I'm like mom look such and such wants me to go and you know everybody around me is like go 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 I would have did it you know and Like I said, I have my own family and I'm like, well, you know, these people are these people and after I go and come back, like they're still going to have, you know, their families and stuff. And what am I like? um, I don't really see what's the main reason. Like, yeah, I do sing and, you know, every girl, like you said, has dreams to be a model and do this and do that. Well, after I had the phone call with the two individuals, I just didn't understand like what did they want from me specifically because there was no actual it was more so when you get here we'll speak about it um about a venture as you've seen and I'm like okay what what kind of venture like what is it exactly that you guys you know have in mind these people hit you up and then they sent me your link and I'm shaking oh my god I'm shaking and so that's why why I, I started reading through the stuff and I'm like wow this is so crazy 
this is this is like so crazy. I'm shaking right now. I'm just I'm, I'm like so so now that you're telling me about the contract, right? And people mm-hmm. telling you the venture, you're helping me to understand that some of these girls didn't go for what they thought they were going for. You know right. You get in the presence of two people you look up to, two people that have the soundtrack to your life. You understand that? So here's your decision. I, we're here with you. If you want to stay with us, you need to do two things. You need to take a pill and you need to compromise your spirituality and have sex. And most girls don't have the tenacity, the mindset, and or the discipline and willpower to say no in a moment that you say in, in, a, in a setting that they yeah. feel possibly change the whole life for them right and that's like i said like friends everyone told me i was crazy for not taking the opportunity like do you know who you can become all you gotta do is be around the right people at the right time and get a photo taken so it was very much so i'm just glad she didn't do it and she has her own mind so that's proof that you know people still have integrity you know, I, I'm the one of them type of people where I wouldn't have just compromised and took no pill or whatever. I would have just been like, I'm about to go back home. I don't got time for this. It's a good opportunity. But, you know, you got people that they might just go ahead and do whatever it takes. But, you know, like she said, she had friends that telling her, go ahead and do it and go ahead and do it. But that just lets you know the mindset of what people will do just because you're famous or they fly you out somewhere or they're they're so trusting with people that they don't know that are famous. People that are famous are no different from an average person. They were average people just like us. They were they are still normal human beings. But just because they have money or they're famous, that doesn't mean that famous people are not capable of anything and so that just show you the mentality of the friends that she had that was telling her that she was dumb and she didn't take the opportunity all of this stuff sounds a little creepy and a little weird but these are the people that are coming out talking about this stuff and let me see what these comments are saying ladies if you know you have it no talent <laughs> ladies hold on let me start this over ladies if you know you have no talent or manager please stop thinking it's a come up oh my god that's dirty please stop giving well please stop going to celebrity cars tour buses houses and backstage like yeah like literally like we have to do our part in keeping ourselves safe like for real for real like if people are out here doing this stuff and they're getting a higher addiction to certain things that's going on in celebrity lifestyle, they know that there's groupies. They know people are going to do whatever it takes and they're going to take advantage of that. But you have to take care of yourself. That's why I don't understand. There would not be so many allegations going on with a lot of celebrities if people could just have integrity enough. You're like, I know people are not going to like what I say, but it's still your responsibility as an adult to do the right thing. Don't sell out for money. I know people want it and really nobody can manipulate you like that either because you know for a fact you're not gonna go to no broke person um, house to do whatever and what uh, do any, anything that's consensual with somebody that ain't got nothing to give you you already know for a fact you're going to say no to that. So you have the capability of saying no. If you was just that naive, you wouldn't even have the capability to say no if somebody that didn't have money was to try to set you up. But just because the person have money, now you can play the naive role of being set up and manipulated and stuff like that. But no, that's not what it is. You have the capability, but you, you just want things. And you feel like uh, a lot of people feel like they can do whatever it takes to get there. And then that part of their life going to be over with. But once they didn't get what they thought they was going to get, that's like this first line. Ladies, if you know you have no talent or manager, please stop thinking it's a come up. Everybody's looking for the come up. I'm just being honest. That's what it is. If T.I. and Tiny was just average, average people, nobody knew them. They had no name. Nobody would fly out anywhere. If somebody inboxed me right now and I don't know them and they just told me that, hey, I have an opportunity for you, I'm not going. First of all, I don't know you. You could be a killer. But because 
T.I. and Tiny is on television. They're famous. They have money. Now it's a come up. It's an opportunity. I can go. No, it's just, you should have the same mindset of if it was somebody else. You don't know them. Manager, keyword manager. If you have a manager managing you, that person should be the one talking to them, making moves, making deals with them, and trying to do it the right way. Not you, just a random person just going here, and you don't even know even if it's T.I. or Tiny or not. They could have been catfishing you. You could have been kidnapped or raped by anybody. We got to do better in keeping ourselves safe and stop, you know, just believing everything and trying to get somewhere. Swingers and human traffickers is two different things. Look, I mean, how do you look up to anyone but God? Stop worshiping celebrities. That's true. Why do these girls all resemble his daughter? Oh my God, that's scary. Why is she having this adult conversation in front of her son? Oh, I didn't even know her son was there. T.I. and Tiny have been doing this for years. Making a bad decision, make a making a bad decision and rape are two different things. Yeah, people do make bad decisions. And a lot of times that's what happens. Like you want things in life, you make bad decisions, you gotta learn from your decisions. That's just with anybody in life. It's just how life is. The type of females that like to talk about adult issues while their child is now. How do you force someone to do something they are willing to do? Let's be totally honest. I hate that people only have bad things to say after they fall off with the person. As long as they benefit from people, everything is quiet. That is true. And that's why things keep quiet for a long time. There's no reason why people should, there's no what reason why famous people should be able to get away with things for decades. If you're able to pay somebody off to be quiet, obviously it was okay to them. There's no way that if you took my dignity, you so-called raped me and you so-called kidnapped me, I will be okay with it as long as you give me some money to be quiet. There's no way. It doesn't, no amount of money is gonna be able to change how you did what you did to me and I need to speak out about it. It shouldn't take me, oh, I can get money from you so I, I, can, I can be quiet about it. Now, now I'm okay with being done this way because you paid me to be okay with it. But now when I run out of money, I'm not okay with it no more. No, I should have never been okay with it, whether you give me money or not. That's what people are failing to realize. The devil always try to make you an offer you can't refuse. Everything that glitters ain't gold. Exactly. It's, it's almost like selling your soul to the devil. I mean, the comeback from it is pretty crucial. You're not just going to be able to come, come back from it, you know, like nothing happened. You should have said something when all that me too-ish was getting tossed around. Let's be totally honest. I hate, oh yeah, I already read that one. Every girl don't dream about being a model same way this girl got feelings i got a feeling she like oh my god these folks crazy i don't believe anything these girls are saying because they will do anything for money they will even sell their soul for fame and money i just said that i don't hear anything about any crime at all didn't hear anything wrong for that matter from what he said in the video everything was consensual I just think these celebrities need to stop doing this stuff because obviously it's not working for them. If they just want to have fun and have some threesomes or whatever kind of sex capades or fun they want to have, they just need to do that. And they need to do it safely, consensually. But all this stuff with all these people flying folks out from different places, you don't know what they want. You don't know what you're going to be getting from them. So I'm hearing the rumors about what she's saying about me. It got back to me. And um, I asked, I asked Willie, who is this girl? And he said, oh, this is just my friend, whatever. I didn't know her. So what I'm saying to y'all is, a, I, a friend of mine, Willie, told me that Sabrina would go and get women for her and her boyfriend, Patrick. So I was just saying to her, like, damn, all this stuff you said, you so, allegedly, you do it too, right? But I'm not condoning none of it, okay? Let me tell you about me, okay? I don't know Tiny for being this person 
that people are speaking on. And this is on my life. I don't know her in that life, you know? And it brings to my, I don't know her for, I don't have threesomes, okay? Me, Shekana, she don't have threesomes. I'm a real Christian and I can't judge nobody for what they do, but I don't have threesomes. I don't believe in a woman coming in my bedroom. That's not what I believe in. So for you to even put me in that, okay? Sending out fake allegations saying that I recruit girls, not me. I don't believe in that. I don't have anything to do with that. And the girl that I know, we go get shit. We go to the mall. We go shopping. We go eat together. We play with her kids together. And I do her hair. I don't know nothing about that lifestyle. Whatever y'all got going on, because that's not me. Okay? Like, I don't... Ooh, I don't like seeing nobody cry. I get a little emotional. But God dang, girl, you, you really talk too much. Like, the best thing for you to do is just don't say nothing because last video you said a lot and it sound like you was a legend now you're on this video and said you know um i was not saying these women ain't doing nothing and i was just speaking on her and patrick her and spongebob and patrick i was just saying that that's what they might be doing you know if you doing it you you saying that they're tiny doing it, so you must be doing it with Patrick too. But then you say that, um, you know, but she ain't doing it, but you're just comparing what she's doing to what uh, Tiny doing and then saying that Tiny ain't doing it because you know her for the girl that you just hung out with and y'all just, you know, took the kids out to eat and I just took the kids out to eat and play and things. That's all I know to for. I just did a hair and I took her out to eat and then we played at the park and things. So Sabrina, that was you and Patrick doing them things. You recruited SpongeBob and 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 uh Plankton and, and Squidworth and all of them. Tiny ain't do no stuff like that. Tiny wouldn't do no things. She too tiny to do that. She too tiny. She couldn't do all that. But see, last video, you were saying all this other stuff. So th this is best that you just be quiet. You can't handle all this. You just got to be quiet, okay? A at least for your friend's sake. For Tiny's sake. Be quiet. That's it. You'll have much more peace. Just, er, just get off the internet. Don't even read the comments. Don't even listen to Sabrina, Selena. Don't listen to none of them. And just let everything play out the way, the way you need to play out. They're going to find out about the allegations. It wasn't for you to know. Tiny know that you cry a lot, so she wasn't going to tell you everything that's going on. She know this about you. Y'all was friends. She's trying to protect you, so protect her and be quiet. Oh. <sighs> um you know candy uh responded and spoke out about this ti and tiny situation last month almost about a month ago been about three weeks ago say february 14th so they chose to do it on valentine's day that was their valentine's day gift for her to speak up for them happy valentine's day tiny and ti but Candy decides to talk in, uh, about it and speak out about it. But see, she's smart now. She's smarter than Shekinah. You know, Candy a crybaby too now. But she decided not to cry on this. She keep her composure. She loyal. She well trained. Let's see what she got to say about this controversy. Because you know all the victims. I mean, because you know all the team players going to take up for each other. But see, they tell on themselves because they get the talking. And we all know they part of the team. Now you got Candy, Tiny, T.I., Shekana, Sabrina, and now Nelly. Well, and let's see what Candy got to say. We got a lot of questions wanting to know uh, if you have any thoughts or comment about all the mess that's been going on with T.I. and Tiny. Um, I don't really want to speak on that situation. What I want to say is when people put out um, any rumor about somebody right now, it's like this, this society has become a you're guilty until proven innocent instead of you're innocent until proven guilty. And I do not like that. 
Um, yeah. I will say, you know, they're like family to me. Obviously, Tiny and I grew up together. Because of the things that were even said on our show before, people always try to wrap me up into any rumor that happens right now. I want to say I don't like that. I don't like when people start rumors on folks. What I will say is Tiny is my sister, and I've never personally seen her do any of that. See, now that's how you got to do it. See, this girl, see, she know when to cry on point. Now, she a crier too, but she know when to do it and when not to do it. And she said, this is family. T Tiny is her sister. And you know how Lonnie Love is. She the auntie. She everybody auntie. Yes, girl. She everybody auntie, literally. She will tell you. Auntie Lonnie. But but t Candy is a crier too. But she knows when to cry on point. She don't just do it at any time. So this girl, th this is the kind of friend you need. She don't know nothing. If you told her something, she didn't hear it. If the cops asked her a question, she wasn't there. She don't even know you. That's how you got to be. So I would have Phaedra speak. What? Portia, you keep saying, why I think she pulled your strings? Hear me what's going on. The lies, the lies. Than ever before, keeping your home's ace. T.I. Uh-huh. Getting crucified by the media lately. Yes. For me, it feels like if you're going to be a multimillionaire who likes to do drugs and mm -hmm. have sex with large groups of women, with your girl or, or without, then it's a, it's a ticking time bomb. Totally agree. And T.I. is a good friend of mine. He okay. always comes to my events. Um... And when I see him in these situations, um, again, you have to be afraid of something. Mm -hmm. And when people are not afraid, you continue to make the same mistakes. You have to live in paranoia to a certain extent. People are like, oh, I'm not, fuck that. I'm, I'm a man. I'm not going to be paranoid. I'm not going to be afraid of anything. But then you are putting yourself in a bad situation to be set up because you never know the intentions of the other person. Right. You never know what you're capable of doing. In my um, younger days, I used to have orgies. I used to have sex with five different women and all that kind of stuff. But I won't bring that into my life. I won't even bring that to my bedroom as I got older because my bedroom is sacred. My bedroom mm -hmm. is just for the, me and my woman to just have a good time. I don't need, um, as we get older, your energy and your universe is so important that you are very careful who you allow in your space. Mm. And when you allow um, different people into your space and you don't know their intentions, you don't know where their heart is, especially today's world, um, you're setting yourself up eventually for something to happen to you. Mm. So you have to be very strict. You have to be, um, keep your guard up at all times. Right. It's, you have to. Let's say, him and his girl hooked up with a hundred girls. I mean, you only need one. Only need one to say some shit like it didn't happen. Right. To get too fucked up and right. feel uncomfortable, say right. whatever. I mean, it's just. I don't even like that feeling. It's such a yeah. bad feeling to put yourself in. To you know, when I saw that about him, I, I felt bad for him because I love him as a person. He always done to my shows in Atlanta. Um, 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 Tiny's been a friend of mine for years when she was with Escape back in the day and I just don't want people to go through it but you gotta keep yourself out of bad situations well, you know he talking like a mature smart man right now what he's saying is right like I get it you know people they they have fun out here they, they experiment in life they doing their thing but you got to you got to take control man you got to take control of your life you got to get that stuff under control or else it'll start controlling you. And then it'll get out of hand and you ain't going to know how to handle it. You can't let things get out of hand. You know, you got to be on guard. You got to be on your P's and Q's because like they said, it only takes one person. You know, what well, you already know what you're doing. And it could have some type of uh, setback or consequences to it. And like they said, it only takes one person. So that's why you got to be on guard you know, experiment, have your fun, but then start, just leave it alone. Get control of your life. 
do what's best for you. The less you're into, the less is going to happen to you. Plot twist part two. I know y'all done seen part one. If you haven't, go check it out. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more videos. I'm out.